So today we're going to build a new kind of beehive that we haven't had before on our farm. And today's video is sponsored by Cricut. We're going to show them a little bit later some cool designs we're going to make for this beehive. So let's show you how we built the Lego beehive. Oh, good job. We are ready to start building our Lego beehive. And so we've got a brood box right here to use as a size sample and to make sure it'll fit our frames. We'll use normal frames in there, but basically it's an all outer box will be made out of Legos. And so I started off cutting a piece of plywood to the size I needed. And so we bought four Lego plates for the bottom so that we have something to build off of. I've got some more coming because I do want to extend it out a little further. You'll notice that our beehive is going to be purple. And that's on purpose because out in our apiary, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And so blue hive's not blue yet, but it will be. The problem is going to be the amount of purple we have. We bought a bunch of Legos. And even with all those packages, we still don't have that many purple. And so we're gonna alternate with white. We also think that'll help the purple stand out a little more to do a purple and white stripe. And then the other issue we're gonna have with this beehive is the insulation or the amount of space or gaps because the Legos, there's always little crevices between every Lego piece. And so we're gonna use three different layers. And so to do that, we've got some black and gray. We've got all of our other colors and then our outer is gonna be our white and purple. So, so Eli, you excited? Yeah. And Uriah, you ready to go? Let's get building the Lego VI. Well, the boys are getting bored and tired and it's a lot of work. This is looking really cool. Check this out. This is where the frame needs to be. So I've got about four to five inches left to put in here for the bottom box. But I've, I've got a couple things I wanna do. Since we do have these little sloped Lego pieces, I can use that up at the front to give a little bit of an angled entrance so water won't run in there. But to do that, I've gotta tear it up a little bit, pull it off the ground and, and add one more layer down beneath it. We are on day three of working on the Lego Beehive. We even ordered in some custom angle pieces right here. So the bees will have a nice little entrance going into their hive. Eli's working on the black and gray inside. You can see the second row is our multicolor. That row looks really cool. And then our outside, we're almost to the top. So we've got to do all these inner rows, add a few more rows up here, and then figure out how to put a top on our brood box. And we'll be ready for the next step to the Beehive. All right, we're staying up late to get this done. All right, so we've got, oh yeah, right where we want it. Now we just need to come right up the side and then we'll put the roof on it. Then we'll be ready for the next step. The last step to complete our hive was to build the roof. We took six purple plates, cut them on a table saw to make them the exact size of the beehive. Then we covered it with a layer of brown Legos, then a layer of blue, and then finally some purple Lego on top. And then down the side, we continued the stripe with purple, white, and then purple, so it would match the outer side of the box. All right, we are ready to work on our design for our hive. We just got the brood box done and the, the roof. The roof's upside down right now, so we can 
silicone it on the inside to keep it airtight and water free. And we're getting ready to work with our Cricut machine. We told you about that earlier, how they sponsored today's video. So we're over here with the Cricut Maker machine. And this thing is pretty cool. We've already been playing around with it, designing some coasters and cutting some cardstock, cutting some heat transfer vinyl. And we're getting ready to do our big design for this hive. And this maker, it's got a little cutting tool on it. As a rotary cutter, it tells you which one to put in here. And then it even has a spot for markers. And I wanna show you what I'm doing here. So I'm, I'm in their design studio, the Cricut Design Space. And so I'm getting ready to do our logo on the side of that. We've got some purple and some white vinyl that we're gonna cut in the maker right now. So we've got our purple paper here. We're gonna load that onto our sticky cutting board. That's all ready to go. Now we can load that into our Cricut maker. I'm just wrapping up the design portion right here, getting the size I need. So now we're gonna load this in. And I'm gonna hit the Cricut button and it's gonna start to cut. Check this out. Cricut Maker is the ultimate smart cutting machine. It accurately cuts over 300 materials, including everything from delicate materials like crepe paper to fabric to thicker materials like matte board, leather, and basswood, cardstock to carbon fiber, flannel to fleece, and even duct tape to denim. And with their expandable suite of tools, it gives you the ability to cut, draw, score, deboss, engrave, and create perforations and wavy lines all with one machine. And after a little while of practice, it got much easier to use. Using both our laptop and our iPhone, we were able to make designs quickly and easily. Awesome, and just like that, oh, let me have it. Just like that, we've got our design on here, and you can't quite see it yet. I can see it, but I need to peel away some of this purple so we can get our logo. That's gonna be the easy part. We're gonna print the white circle that's gonna be the background to give us a nice border around our logo. All right, we've got the logo exactly where we want it. I've got, we've got it marked on the beehive where I want to put it. So now let's get it on, transferred onto there. There's our logo in purple. What do you think, Becky? Looks pretty cool. All right, and then we've got our design in reverse here where the house and hill is in purple for the other side of our hive. So that was really simple, really fun to do. So I hope you'll check out the Cricut Maker, other products they have, like the Easy Press 2 we've been having fun with. Doing some heat transfers. Ooh, nice, it looks really neat. And here's the coasters we made. I think they turned out really cool. And we got a little better each one we made. Just go down to the link in our description and check out Cricket. So tomorrow we'll get the beehive outside and we'll move the Saskatraz bees into the hive. Isaiah, hey, where you at? <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Good job, bud. the frizzles. They're two weeks old now. You ready to get them moved out of the house? Yes. <laughs> They're starting to stink. Here's our black frizzle. You got any frizzle on them? No. Our red cochins are doing great. Got their little frilly feet. But all of our white frizzles are looking amazing. All gonna have the frizzle gene. All right, we got the hive loaded up. We're ready to move it out there and then we'll come back and get our bees and move them in. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Today turned out to be a great day. It was supposed to rain all day long, but you can see all the bees are hopping here at the other hive. So this will be a great day to get the bees out here. So in this hive, we've approximated it's about 8,000 Lego. Now we'll probably add possibly another brood box or at least a super sometime this year. So we'll put a queen excluder right here and then we'll put a super right on top of it so they can put honey right into the top of this hive. But we're gonna go and move the bees over and move the frames right in and it should fit perfectly. We did use some silicone on the inside of this lid to seal it from anything leaking through. Because there's so many Lego in here and there's lots of little crevices, water could seep down into here and might just sit in here. And so we may add some silicone just to keep any water from getting into the top of the lid. This will function just like any other Langstroth hive. Only difference will be when the bees land in the front, they'll be walking in 
on top of Lego instead of on top of wood. We're gonna go back and pick up the bees. All right, well these Saskatraz bees, we got them about a month ago and they came on the coldest week we've had in April in a long time. We thought they were dead at first, but they ended up making it through. The queen led for a little while to, to breed and then she came back and so we thought we'd lost our queen so too. So it's given, oh my gosh, we got a queen here. We have a queen. But now we've got them all ready to move over. There's a few bees that got out this morning, but I switched the guard around so that no more bees could get out. So all the bees are inside of here. And so we'll move this out to the Lego hive and then we'll move the frames in. Okay, we're gonna go slow, one frame at a time, boys, all right? And we gotta put them in the same order. You stay back a little bit, okay? All right, so when I lift this off, we're gonna move one frame, we're gonna put it over there, and then we're gonna do it all the way down, all right? Oh gosh, so many bees here. There must be out. Oh, I think they're building the queen. What? She died? So these guys were done really well about a week or two ago and their queen was back and now I don't see her again. So either she flew off or she ended up dying. So they're, I think they're working on creating a queen cell here. So we'll have to keep an eye on these guys. We may have to order a queen for these, for this hive. There's just not many bees in here. All right, since we didn't have any, since we don't have any resources over here, we don't have a queen. I've got to take a frame from another hive, at least give them something, some brood, some honey for a little bit until I can get a queen in there. All right, let's move this in there. All right, the Lego beehive is all ready to go. We need to work on this hive and get them a new queen. We're excited to see how this hive does and we'll get the super built soon to add on top. Thanks to Cricut for helping us with this video because 8,000 Lego costs a lot of money. We really appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time. All right, and as a little bonus, we wanna check on how the flow hive's doing. We're really excited to get the super on top of it. We're anxious to see them fill up this brood box. Maybe they already So they're using about half of it. Oh, here they come. One, two, three. Oh yeah, they're mad. <laughs> oh, they got the microphone. They're on the microphone. Yeah, they're going after me. All right, we got a little over 50% filled. When we get to about 80%, We'll add the super on. These guys are doing great. Every hive here is connecting to the roof.